a minute. I think you're needed in there. You must be the new Vista. Yeah, it's William Richmond. Julie Sales. Hi. <gasps> Welcome to the Hatcher Medical Clinic. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Hang on. There, Stop that. <laughs> Where do you want this? To the left. Oh. <laughs> Hold it. He's not going anywhere. Leon. Leon. If you only stop squirming, it'd be over in a second. Of course, if you don't want it in your arm, we can always have you drop your drawers. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, was it? You weren't getting the needle. Here, you go get yourself a soda. I'll be out in a minute. Go on. You should have had that booster shot over two months ago. Well, why? You weren't sick. It's to prevent him from getting sick. Now, Gina's due in for hers a month from now, sick or not. Here's a calendar with a date marked on it, okay? Okay. It's like pulling teeth. You been on the road long? I left Denver two days ago. I just drove on through. We haven't had a Vista worker here since 76. Surprised that program still exists. You may not after this year. Should have joined the Peace Corps. Africa and South America sounds a whole lot more exciting than Hatcher County. I guess. Of course, running around the jungles in Paraguay is no day on the beach, is it? Why this place? It's where they sent me. Here's your desk. If you need to make a phone call, you gotta make it here because there's no phone in your trailer. Ooh. Okay, let's go get you settled in. What'd they send you up here for, anyway? Snoop around, see what needs doing. That's easy, everything. The uh, goal objective is nutrition. I'm supposed to set up some sort of nutritional guidelines. Uh, maybe food co-ops, some basic farming, I don't know, whatever's needed. All right. Tully, this is Bill Richmond, the new Vista. Hello. Hi. Tully doesn't have it, he'll get it, right, Tully? That's all right. Not a bad oh, shot. Uh, not a great shot, but not a bad shot. Shot. bad shot. This is your last chance, buddy. Oh, too bad, Kyle. Looks like you just lost yourself 20 bucks. Hey, you leave that. That's on the line and you know it. All them oil fumes must be affecting your eyesight, old buddy. Hey, I said you leave it. Oh, jeez. Now, where is it? Kyle. <laughs> Damn it, Kyle. I'm going to browse around a little bit, okay? I said, where is it? I said, where is it? All right, it's on the line. You bet it's on the line. Fine, then that's it, man. You win, okay? You bet I win. You started talking some sense. Turn it off, okay? Come on, give me a dollar. Let's get a bit. Hey, speak a dollar. Come on. gonna pay for the beer. Well, now, tell me, I believe old Lowell's got this round of beers, don't you? Time for one more. That's 10. That's 20. 20 dollars. I'll give you a chance to win your money right. back, double or nothing. What do you say, Lowell? No way, man. Besides, Maria's waiting dinner on me. I bet she is. You almost <laughs> hurt him, Kyle. Oh, he's all right, aren't you, Lowell? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'll see you later. Thanks for the beer, Kyle. Yeah, see you later, Kyle. See you later. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tully, what's your special now? You got any of them meatball sandwiches? Didn't you say I'm waiting on a customer? Oh, is that what he is? Well, I thought you were one of Julie's college friends. Come up here to see poverty all close and personal, right? You don't have any whole wheat, do you? No. Okay, that's it. I'll have a beer, too. Hey, don't be bashful now. What do you think? Aren't we a sorrowful lot around here? Kyle. I try not to make snap judgments if I can help it. Well, that's good. That's big of you, really. So, uh, 
You came up here to help us poor unfortunates out, didn't you? Do whatever I can. God, let me be the first to thank you, really, on behalf of all of us. I mean it. God love you. I mean, here you are, a volunteer in service to America, taking a whole year out of your life and away from all that whole wheat bread, too, right? That'd be six dollars and forty cents. I mean, it's not like you or Julie, who was raised here. Only our little Miss Florence Nightingale, she came back. Only no local boys good enough for her, even when he pulls 15 bucks an hour down off them oil rigs, huh? When he goes to work, that is. Mm. There's your change. It was very nice meeting you. You too. Hey, I'm gonna see you tonight. Yeah. Well, Tully, you got one of them pre-cooked cheeseburgers and a bag of pork skin rinds? I passed a few of these orchards on the way up here. Yeah, oranges and migrants, that's us. Except for a lucky few who work the oil rigs, picking fruits, the only work people's got around here. From the look of things, there isn't much of that either. Yeah, not much of anything in Hatcher. Well, here you are. Very nice. Hey, Bill. Can I give you some advice? Don't expect too much from the people around here right off the bat. Let them get to know you. You ever been to the South Bronx? No. That's where I was last year. I think I can handle Hatcher. Hello. Do uh, you speak English? Buenos dias, uh, senora. Este lugar is uh, sulfur rise. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, this is sulfur rise, isn't it? So how are you today? About the same. Oh, good. Hello. Hey. Uh, it's Leon, right? Oh, is this your house? Great. What, uh, what are you eating there? I hope it's something good for you. Tobacco, huh? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's good for you. Just be careful you don't get it on your feet. It'll go right to your toenails. Hello? Now that's a garden. That's the first garden I've seen all day. My name's Bill Richmond. I'm uh, with the Vista program. I'm working with Julie Sales down at the clinic. What have you got here? You got some squash, you got chilies, you got some cabbage. That looks good. Did you put the... Weren't you down by the road yesterday? Weren't you down by the road yesterday? Are you the one down? Barge in like this. Uh, Who are you? What do you want? I work for the county. I'm with the Vista program. Really, I didn't mean to uh, barge in. You a doctor? No, I'm a, I'm a sort of nutritionist. I was just complimenting the girl here on your garden. Uh, listen, I think maybe I scared her. I didn't mean to do that. Where is she when you want her? I'll help you. What does he want? 
You were just leaving. Yes, I didn't mean to disturb you. I, please just tell her that I'm sorry I frightened her. Might as well tell the town dog for all she'd understand. Anyway, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> A couple miles outside of town, uh, Aggie, somebody. I got him. Right. She's certainly not afraid of losing her welfare check, is she? Well, she wouldn't be. Her brother's on disability, emphysema. Is it bad? Let's just say it won't get any better. But some days you wouldn't even know he had it at all. What about the girl over there? Linda, retarded. I thought there was something wrong. Look, Adam's her father. Aggie's her aunt. What about her mother? Well, she died giving birth to Belinda. Hmm. Does she get some kind of help or anything? Yeah, they tried to put her into school once, but it didn't work out. She distracted everybody and disturbed the classes. Well, of course she did. A retarded child is not going to learn anything in a regular school. I know that. But the closest school in special education is 40 miles away. And <coughs> father needs her around to work. Oh. What is she? 18, 19? I don't know. I don't see her around that much, honest. your father. Adam, I think your daughter's deaf. I don't think she's retarded at all. So? You knew that? Retarded? Deaf? She's still the way she is. Look, it's not the same thing. They have special schools now. She could get help. Uh, maybe a special program of... We don't need no help. We get along fine as is. Oh, yes, I've seen that. I've seen, I've seen the way you, you push her and you pull at her and you yell Say at her. Say I'm it's mistreating like, her? No, I'm not saying you're mistreating her, but I certainly think you would be if you didn't try to get her help. I've tried. I know that, but they have special schools now. It's a whole different thing. I don't want her poked at, laughed at anymore. She's staying here. Or maybe I can help her. How are you going to help her, Vista? I don't know. Maybe I can't help her, but I certainly think someone should try, don't you? Get off my land! You know something? I think you like it, don't you? You like keeping her dependent on you, don't you? Stay off my land and stay away from her. 
you understand? Yeah, I understand. Good spot just outside of town. It's near McAdams Place. County land. It's got water, pretty good soil. Here, sit down. Come on, have an apple. Oh, no, thanks. Good for you. Oh, it's too hot to eat. Too hot to do much of anything. Is there anything in that mail for me? Uh -uh. Looking for something? Yeah, a book. I got plenty of books inside if you're looking for something to do with your time. This is a special one. Uh, I don't have any special books. Just a bunch of old paperbacks. But they're there if you want them. You know, if McAdam really does have the only green thumb in the area, he could be very useful. For what? That old goat wouldn't give you the time of day. I mean, maybe if he sees me working out there, he just might get interested and pitch in. I've seen it happen before. You get one of them started, then the other ones get curious and start talking. Pretty soon it's working. Chain reaction. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> okay, now, uh, all of you know what this is. Tomato, stupid. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. That's absolutely right. It's a very fresh tomato, stupid. Okay, well, the point is that with just a little bit of work, uh, say, two hours of your time, you can be growing and you can be harvesting bushels of these. Not just tomatoes, you can have carrots and potatoes, lettuce, whatever it is you want. Now, the county's done its part. They've given us the land, so now it's up to us to do our part. As I'll show you in a minute, I've divided the land up into sections. Each person gets his own section. We pool the equipment. We work in shifts. You can make any, any hours you want. And remember, it's your land. It's absolutely cost-free. And it's not even going to affect any government checks you may be getting at the moment, I assure you. Well, we've heard that before. Well, not from me, you haven't. your book. There's no dirty pictures in there or nothing like that, is it? No, sorry. <laughs> That's the one. This is for deaf people. Belinda McAdam. Belinda? Now, what do you think you're going to accomplish with this? I don't think anybody ever took the time to notice she can't hear. She's deaf. What do you think you're going to do about it? Maybe not much. I can give it a shot. Hello? 
Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I know you don't know what I'm talking about. Come on over here. Come on and help me out. Come on, come on. I like company. Come on, help me out here. You want to help here? Uh, wait a minute, I know what you like. For you. I know you like flowers. You know what this is? It's a flower. This is a flower. Watch. Flower. It's for you. No, you have to say it though. You have to ask for it. Flower. No. Nope. You must say it. Flower. You have to ask for it. It's a flower. That's right. Good. Wait till we get... I'll get you another one. I'll get you a nice one here. Say it again. Say it. Flower. There you go. Want another one? Great. I got a whole field of them. Do this all day if you want. Come on. Great. Okay, um, wait there. I want to show you something. Uh, wait. I want to show you something. This has got a lot of words in it. Wait a minute, Belinda, don't... Flowers. Today we're going to learn a new word, okay? Book. No. I'll show you. This one is very easy. See the book? You open the... Watch me. You open the book, and that's the sign. See? You take it. No, watch me. Try it. Hold the book. Belinda. Oh, stop it, will you? I just want you to hold the book. Belinda, I just want you to hold... I just want you to hold the... thing you weren't teaching her to say rock. <laughs> yes. Well, she can learn if she wants to. Of course, it's not going to be easy. What about all the other folks around here? Are you going to have time enough left for them? I started the garden. Yeah, by yourself. Oh, come on. They'll come around in time if I set an example. They just need a little inspiration. Well, how much all. inspiration are you going to give them if you just spend all your time with one of them? Well, don't you think I can handle it, Julie?
No, not today. No, not today. Excuse me. Yes. Book. Right. Now show me. Where is it? Show me the book. You, show me the book. Book. Where is it? You, you show me the book. Yes, where? Show me. talk about the family okay we'll do it all father good mother good baby very good <clears throat> now father loves mother No. Uh, that's a hard one. Oh, wait. Okay. Better. Mother loves baby. Mother loves the baby. She, she. Kiss the baby and tickle the baby, pat the baby, the whole thing. Love. Mother loves the baby. <laughs> Very good. Me. Man. Not man. Friend. You and I are friends. Right? Good. Friend. Love. No, no, it's not, not quite. It's not the same. Almost. Um, no, it's not the same. Not love. Friend likes friend. 
likes, friend. That's all you got coming up. No wonder you can't get a job outside of Vista. So, this is where you've been keeping yourself. Has he touched you? Has he? Adam, wait a minute. We've been learning how to sign. That's all we're doing. Belinda, shut up. Look, Adam, wait a minute. Stop. Stay away from her. You're all alike. You take and take. Well, not here. What are you waiting about? I've stopped. She's talking to you. She's talking. She's saying, Father, that's what we were doing. We were learning how to sign. She's talking to you. Father. It's the first time she's ever... How do you say daughter? Sign it. It's two signs. Girl, baby, together. Do it right? She did it right. She said that's good. You can teach her more. Her name. How to pray. Yes.
I don't believe it. Look who's here. Mr. McAdams. Huh? How are you? Good seeing you. Well, how are you? It's nice to see you here. Excuse me, Julie, I uh, think it'd be a good idea if you came over and said hello to Kyle, you know? Sure. Oh, and you can come. You, um, look wonderful. Do you like dancing? Dancing? Music. You want to try? You want to try? Come on, I want to go home. Come on, I want to go home. Sorry, I have to go. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Let him go, man. And it, look, man, you're drunk and you're out of line. Hey, going, man. Jilly! Jilly, where are you going? I'm all right. Where are you going, man? I'm all right. Wait a minute, man. Do it, you man. You can't do it, man. Do it, man. Just do it. Do it. Can't do it, man. I'm right. You're going, going nowhere, man. I'm going nowhere. And, uh, Julie, why don't you tell me a little bit about Kyle? Oh, don't mind him. He's just a mean drunk. You catch him when he ain't been drinking, and he's okay. Most of the time. He's a real sweetheart. Look, me and him, we go way back, ever since high school. Oh, sometimes those bad habits are hard to break. Yeah, sometimes. Let's talk about you. Um, what were you before Vista and all? Very naive. Uh, just another one in a long line of Connecticut Richmonds. Uh, typical jobless college graduate. Food co-op manager in the South Bronx. Uh, head Start organizer in 81. Sounds like you're making a career out of saving the world. Well, it keeps needing to be saved, doesn't it? You ever think about just saving one little hunk of it for yourself? You know, settle down, get married? Oh, yeah, I tried that once for a little while. Not recently, though. What happened? It was just, uh, one of those things. She went her way, I went mine. No big deal, just a lot of... It's just a mistake. I hope it doesn't always have to be that way. Well, I don't think it does, but uh, it's not for me. Why? It's getting late. Why don't you stay the night? I like you, Julie. I really do. Well, good. I could stay the night. But it might just be for the night. And I don't really think that's all you're looking for. Is it Belinda? <laughs> what? Belinda? Are you crazy? She's a kid. She's, a... She's 18, beautiful, deaf and dumb. Just like you guys like them. Oh, come on, Julie. It's not anybody. It's me, all right? It's my problem. I just don't want to get involved. Okay? Have you seen Belinda? Oh, I have a job. Belinda? Where is she? She was dancing right there a while back. Saturday night. Yeah. Want a ride? Ride? 
Hold on. You don't have to be afraid of me. You don't have to be afraid of me now. If I was you, I'd be more worried about what your this is doing. Right about now. Want a drink? Hmm? Want a drink? You don't want to ride? You don't want to drink? You look pretty to dance tonight. You look good enough to... You want to dance? Huh? You want to dance? Hoochie coo? <laughs> dance? Hoochie coo? Come on, let's go. Huh? You and me just do a little... Dancing, please. Huh? Come on, go do a little dance. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> little dance move. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, come here. Where are you going? last night. I'm sorry I had to take off so soon. It's going pretty well down there. I got a few people started. Something wrong? What's happened? We left the dance on her own last night. Been out there half the night somewhere. Why? Yeah. She can't exactly tell us, can she? Where is she? I'm back, sitting. I'd like to talk to her. Did you get lost? Did, uh, did something scare you? Uh, you're right. I never should have taken her to the dance. No, she has to get used to people. You can't just keep protecting her. All right, but does she have to suffer while doing it? Linda, what's wrong? Are you angry with me? Because I left? I'm sorry. Belinda, friends. You and I are friends. Come on, sign it.
and I think she can hear. What are you talking about? Gun. When it went off, she jumped. Jumped? Listen, I would like to have her hearing tested by professionals. Married weekend after next. Congratulations. Oh, no. Well, real sorry you can't be the best man, but uh, you're not. <laughs> right, <Sean. laughs> At least as far as Julie's concerned. Uh, Julie, hold on one minute. Belinda. Belinda. Getting married. Say hello. She's uh, a little shy signing around other people. See, it's waiting. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. In order to make a diagnosis, we have to gather as much information as we can through tests. Psychological tests, intelligence, a complete physical, and of course the actual hearing test that we're doing right now with the audiometer. Oh, uh, look, it, it looks like she heard something. Mm, it's not unusual. Very few people are totally deaf. You said she heard a gunshot. Yes. Most deaf people can hear very loud sounds like that. Oh, Belinda's x-rays are ready. Mm -hmm. I'll be right down. Has uh, Dr. Carpenter looked at them yet? Okay, I'll be down in a minute. You're welcome to stay here, or you can come back at six. We ought to have results by then. No, I'll stay. Mr. Richmond, please sit down. Uh, Belinda has sensory neural deafness. That means that the neural pathways from the inner ear to the brain stem are damaged. I'm sorry. We don't have the technology of the surgery to help her. I see. But there's a bright side. Her deafness isn't hereditary. It was a birth defect. So her baby's hearing should be fine. Well, she uh, doesn't have a child. Oh, no, I mean the child that she's carrying. Well, she's about three months pregnant. I did find out one thing, though. She's three months pregnant. Got to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Well, what are you going to do about it? What do you mean, what am I going to do about it? It isn't mine. You sure? I don't need a lecture to know where babies come from. I'm telling you, there's no way it could be mine. Have you told McAdam? I don't even know how I'm going to tell her. Well, she's got to know soon. Everybody else will. I think she was raped. <laughs> raped? That night, the dance. I left early. McCadden couldn't find her. She was gone half the night. I just bet one of these drunken morons took advantage of an easy situation. Sure, right. Being deaf makes her an automatic virgin. I don't think she can handle a child. Sure she can. She might want to keep it. God knows she doesn't have much else. Come on in. Oh! <gasps> 
did this to you? Who? Let her alone. Take this to you didn't do it. Who did it? Let her, tell John, me. let her alone. She doesn't understand what you're talking about. She doesn't know what's happening to her. <laughs> of course she does. Even the dummy knows babies don't fall out of trees. John, she does not understand. If it ain't you, Vista, I'm damn sure gonna find out who did it. Why don't you just forget about who it is? Why don't you just think about her? She's gonna need you now more than ever. She's gonna need both of you. Linda. Do you remember the sign for mother? Baby? Belinda, you are going to be a mother. You're going to have a baby.
Linda. Over soon, I promise. Watch her. Have her grip her hands on that bar. Watch her. What's happening? Why is it so quiet? First you complain about the screaming, and then you complain about the quiet. It's been ten hours. Come on. Oh, come on, you old goat. She's tired, but she's fine. Tend to him proper. She does. In fact, I think she knows when he's going to cry before he does. Of course, I can't have worrying about what's going to happen to him when I'm gone. What are you talking about, John? You're going to be around for a long time. He's going to be in college, Belinda. Sure. <laughs> If it was anyone else, she'd marry and man would take care of Johnny like his own. But Belinda would marry her and take her on. She loves you. I'm very fond of her, John. All right, the baby's not yours. But damn it, nobody ever paid attention to Belinda till you came. Not that I'm asking you to marry her out of any pity. Belinda's a good hard worker. You just think on. All right. No need to rush an answer this minute. John. My year here is just about up. This isn't my home. I can't stay here. All the vistas I ever met, I thought you'd be the one to stay. Not just because of Belinda, but the rest of what you've done. I guess not. How are you going to tell her? 
I'll tell him when the time comes. Morning, John. What can I do for you? Oh, you brought the baby. Here, let me see it. Let me see it. You know, I'm going to be selling him bubble gum pretty soon. Much older than this, I sell you bubblegum. Well, hello there, cuz. <laughs> you strong little thing, aren't you? When, when's your turn? I mean, you keep your whole nights in trouble. That's the cutest little baby I ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> trap last week. Uh, a quarter of a mile up from Tupper Bridge. Put these on my bill, wait. She's nuts. Kyle Hager. Well, I got me a mess of fish. Got to get them in the ice box before they start stinking. I want to talk to you. About what? Belinda. Belinda. You're the one, ain't you? What are you talking about? You're the father of her child. You're crazy. Get your hands off me. Don't you touch me, old man. I said, don't you touch me, old man. Hey! Yeah, it was me. So what? You think anybody cares? You raped my girl. That's your story. I see she let me on. Oh. She's a big girl. You know what I mean. Hey! I'll kill hey. you! She's a big girl. She knows what she's doing.
below Tupper's Bridge. Oh, oh. He must have slipped and fell. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, put him down, put him down. Peggy, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's dead, Peggy. in heaven. a nice little place over there in Indian Falls next month. Sure. Guaranteed, once they make me crew foreman, what they're gonna do. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, sure. This to leave yet? Pretty soon. He sure believes in long goodbyes. Honey, I just don't think it's right. What ain't right? Oh, I don't know. Dummy up there. Raising a bastard all on her own. You and me just... Do we have to discuss this again and again Well, I think having kids is pretty damn important, don't you? All a man's got left in this world finally is his children. Sometimes it takes a while. Well, we've been trying for almost a year, Julie. I think that's a long time, don't you? Anyway, I think it's a shame that little boy got to grow up with no name, raised by deaf and dumb. We give him a nice little home right here. You're nuts. Julie, we could take care of him. We could give him all the right things. We could teach him to talk, for God's sake. Even if I wanted to, I just can't walk up and take a baby away from its mother. Mother? You call her a mother? Well, she can't even take care of him. She can't even hear him when he's crying. She, she takes care of him good enough, and there's nothing we can do about it. I don't know about that. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not at all, man. She, maybe she, maybe she'd like for us to take him off her hands. You ever think about that? Maybe she would. Maybe if she don't, maybe the law will. Don't be so stupid. Belinda has every right to keep her baby. Well, I got a right to my children, too, damn it. And I think it's best for the boy. And then you tell me who's going to stop us from taking him. You're talking crazy. Now, there are a million orphans in the world. If you want one so bad... I want mine. Yours? Yeah. Mine. I don't believe it. We weren't married then, Julie. You remember that? You were off there out panting for Vista. You remember that? And it just sort of happened between Belinda and me. That's all. Kyle, I just can't believe it. It ain't how you think, Julie. She came after me. And I think I got as much claim to that boy up there as that dummy does. I want him. I want him real bad. Now, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. It's our child up there. It's yours just as much as it is mine. You can't. Yeah. Damn it! I can't. You can't. Yes, I Damn can. It. Damn it! 
Jesus, I'm going to. Linda, hello. Belinda, I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye to you and Johnny. My work here is finished. If you need anything, no, not me. Money, help. You go see Julie. She'll call me. to go when I can I will come back again yes I will Adam's place. You got some business up there. Do you feel like taking a ride or what? Sure, Kyle. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here. Oh. Okay, let's just get him out of here as quickly as possible. attention to me. There's a problem. Someone is coming to take Johnny. Someone bad. You must do what I tell you. Take Johnny and come with me. Now, there's no time. He's here. He's brought the whole bridge with him, too. Well, what have we here? My dear, sweet little wife and civil servant. Looks like Julie's been messing around with Vista. What'd you do? You change your mind? No. No, why don't we just take your friends and come on home? I will, just as soon as I get what I can. Kyle! For. You shut up! Get out! Come on, Kyle! You shut off. up! I told you you're with me or gets me! Then you get on home! Get out of here! Get your clothes! Come on, Kyle! Knock it off! Come on! Get out of the house! I don't want to see you! I'll throw him in the damn dirt! Hager, what do you think you're doing here? You know damn well what I'm doing here! 
Now, you had your little fun with that dummy in there, and I want to know what the hell's going on with my wife. Julie, why don't you just take your husband home? Give him a nice hot bath. Get him relaxed. Tomorrow, maybe we'll just forget about this. Tomorrow? What the hell do you know about tomorrow? You're going to be gone. Now, there's a little boy in there. He ain't got no daddy. He's only got half a mama. She is perfectly capable of giving her child everything that he needs. Her child? Well, just let me tell you something about her child, huh? That happens to be my son in there. You're the one. Listen to you. Getting up on your high horse. Well, I guess you just didn't know Belinda as well as you thought you did, huh, Vista? Now, that's my little boy in there, and I come in here to get him out. No way. All right, Vista. I've been looking for any excuse at all just to rip your head off. Now, I got family in there, and I'm going to take him out of here right now. Nobody stop me. You shouldn't have done that! You shouldn't have done that!
crazier than a rabid dog. See, Kyle just never knew when to quit. Look, when I came out here today, I had no idea... I understand, Law. I just appreciate it if you'd help me talk to the police when they get here. Yeah. <laughs> Linda... When all of this is finished, I want to take you away from here. You and Johnny, all three of us. No, not like. I love you. 